My name is Dan Wallin, and uh, I am a big fan of Angular, have been for a long time now. And when it came out, I kind of struggled with understanding how all the pieces fit together. So I'm going to try to build a very simple example that highlights the key pieces that, well, I wish I would have known when I first learned Angular. I'm going to come in and add a directive called ng-app, and this will mark Angular as this is an Angular app, and it's now going to be able to scan the document, do some compilation linking stuff, and look for other Angular things in the document. One of my favorite features uh, nowadays that's come out is the ability to do data binding. So I'm going to add another what we call directive, and you heard uh, Brad and Misko talk a little bit about directives. This is a built-in one that does data binding. And if you're new to data binding, all this does is marries the text box to this, what's going to be a property called search text. So to kind of prove that this works, though, we need to be able to write out some data. And so now I'm going to do something called a data binding expression. And we're just going to write out search text. So we've told Angular this is an Angular app. We've now said I have some search text, and we're going to write out that search text. Right, hey, that one works. All right, that's all I got. Any questions? No. <laughs> all right, awesome. I mean, if it just did that alone, that's pretty cool. Because uh, let's, let's, let me remind you, I have yet to write a line of JavaScript code. We now have a little template. And this is going to iterate through my customer's data and write out the values. So we're going to come in and say, for each cust in customers, let's go ahead and write out, we're going to use a data binding expression again, the customer. Um, actually, the number one thing I love about Angular is that you get one just awesome framework instead of having to have, you know, 20 scripts uh, in your app. You can have one really solid core, and then, of course, you can augment that with others. Let's type Ted, and notice a T, T, E. All right, and this is where, when I first started learning Angular, I started going, wow, this is actually really freaking cool. Like, I've yet to write a line of JavaScript code. So a module really is just a container. Um, I kind of think of it like a, a package, a, a namespace. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a logical naming container. And now what's going to happen is, because the ng app knows about the container, it can now look up the controller and bind it into this particular uh, piece of HTML. Now we have a controller, but a controller, eh, we need a little bit more. So the next thing we're going to do is I have a script called a Angular route. And if I'm going to load customers' views and orders' views into an area, I need a place to load that. So I need a little X marks the spot. And so what I'm going to do is come in and say ng view. This is another directive. So we've seen ng repeat, ng view, ng app, ng init. These are all directives. They teach HTML new tricks. Now, you'll notice this a little bit different, though. Kind of zoom in a little bit. We have uh, links here. OK, I didn't add that in previous. But imagine a link that went to orders. So now we have a very simple single page application. And so like Ajax calls, I like to put in factories. Uh, things like uh, business rules that you're reusing across controllers. Really, anything you want to reuse across something is a great candidate for either a factory, a service, or provider. So modules I mentioned are, are used for controllers and factories, but there's a lot of other things. You can create custom directives, uh, custom filters. Uh, you can do all kinds of cool stuff, configure routes. And this is really where I started to learn how Angular worked, was I, I imagine it's kind of a bunch of Lego blocks, and you got to figure out how the Lego blocks work together. Thanks a lot, guys. It's been fun.